My name is Linnea Michael. I am an assistant vice president at Horace Mann. Um, I have two kids. Um, my daughter, Cheyenne, I had when I was 19. So I am a graduate of the Community Connection Point program. Uh, Cheyenne is 19 and she is in her second year at St. Louis University studying occupational therapy. Um, I also have a son and then my son is 10. He's a huge Seattle Seahawks fan. He um, loves football. He plays football for Sherman and um, well fourth grade so it's still like JFL but um, he's really into that and basketball. But he's just a sports fanatic and has a really big sense of humor. So I was working part-time a, as a bank teller when I found out I was pregnant and I had a friend that I worked with who had just had a child and was young as well and she told me about um, Community Connection Point and some of the other resources that might be available to me when I'm you know, 19 and pregnant, not sure you know what I was going to do with my whole life and it was time to start thinking about all of that. So I was going to the community college at the time and I wasn't taking it as seriously as I should have been. You know, I was working part-time, but not enough to, you know, raise a child on. So um, Community Connection Point and connecting that really allowed me to plan for my future both ways. Like, what do I want to do professionally? What do I want to do academically? I mean, obviously the two go hand in hand and I needed to do one to get to the other, but I had to figure out how to make enough money to be able to raise my daughter while I was going to school. It wasn't, you know, I couldn't, I had to do both. I had to figure out how to do both. And Community Connection Point, for me, that was essential. I quit the community college and had to reevaluate, I think, what I wanted to do. And I don't know, something in my head told me a paralegal sounded fun. So I researched and found an adult accelerated program at Robert Morris and so I was going there at night and continuing to work at the bank during the day and juggling them both um, and Community Connection Point helped subsidize daycare through the Child Care Assistance Program um, which allowed me to be able to do that because I couldn't afford to pay for daycare. Um, it just kind of helped me build the foundation um, that I needed to be able to continue to go on and. Um, you know, succeed. I finished school um, when Cheyenne was about two. By the time she was two years old, I was done with school. Um, a few months later, got a job as a paralegal at Horace Mann, and I've just continued to work my way up through the company. Um, you know, and it was, I'm sure it wasn't long after I started as a paralegal that I didn't need the assistance any longer. Um, and I've just continued to build from there, and now you know, she's in a good position and, and won't need the assistance. So it's allowed me the foundation that I needed to build upon for myself, but then I can give her every opportunity. Um, so like I mentioned, she's at St. Louis University studying um, occupational therapy and cheering for Division One basketball. And, you know, she's able to to have everything, you know, that, that she needs. And I was able to give her that. I think my life would be drastically different if I had not had the opportunity with the child care assistance program. I don't think I could have gone to school and worked back then when it was so important that I do both. So I can't even imagine what my life would look like and I'm forever thankful to have had that assistance that helped me, like I said, build that foundation and, and continue to grow professionally and, and personally myself, which puts me in the position to, to give her those same opportunities. So um, definitely forever thankful for that.